Hey guys, so this is my first review of any gear and I'm a little bit of a gear head. I like gear and I'm surprised I haven't do reviews before because I love watching reviews. I love getting the input on new products, on products that I am interested in buying. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, give me some grace because this is my first review. Today I'm going to start with an unboxing. Then I'm going to go over some of the detailed close-up shots of the Kessler Cine Slider. And I'm going to give you my first impressions of the thing. So I bought this piece of equipment for a reason because I believe it's good. Let's find out. All right, guys. So here I'm gonna, here I got the Kessler Cine Slider. This is how it came in the mail. Um, I like to do the unboxing, kind of go over the packaging because packaging is important because shipping companies don't take care and don't treat their boxes and parcels, whatever you call them, very well all the time. So. This is the box that came in. It's uh, branded by Kessler. Um, it's nice heavy, heavy duty cardboard. I'm gonna open it up here. I've already cut the tape. So I'm gonna just, I think I cut all of it. There you go. And uh, here you can see which product it is. You got the Philip Bloom signature pocket dolly, pocket dolly, the basic. And the other one, Cindy Slider, which they say is their best slider. And I'll go over why they say that in a minute. And then there's Stealth, slider which I thought about buying but I went with the Cine slider for a few reasons. So here it comes with this support cards for Kessler University. It's on their website with all their products. It's kind of a separate website. Uh, I did order it with a few different uh, accessories or options. I got the three foot slider with the crank handle. I did get the measuring tape because I plan on using this with... That's my cat. Okay. Let's go Pepper. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know better. I did get it with measuring tape because I plan on using this with motion controlled stuff. And I did get the camera mount, the flat mount, low profile adapter because I'm going to put a tripod head on it. Here's the packaging. Um, we got some thick paper here going on top to fill some space. Um, I've noticed this a lot in American made products. American made products Oh, all the ones that I've seen, I've opened some GW speaker lights, uh, automotive lighting parts, worked for a company for a while, and they started using cardboard like this, shaped in a really um, good fashion to use tension from the cardboard to create protection instead of peanuts or packing other packing materials like paper and stuff, because paper can just get flattened and then you have a bunch of empty space in the box, things can bounce around. Well, this cardboard is also could get flattened over time, but it really honestly is way better at protecting whatever. Ends, you got these foam pieces here. I'm gonna pull this out and you can see that it's nicely wrapped. I'm just gonna put the box down over here. So here we got this Cine slider. Wow, this thing looks bigger in person. I have to say my initial thoughts. Um, I knew it was going to be big for compared to what I've dealt with, but you know, it looks really solid in, in person. But I want to take these end caps off here, get rid of this stuff, take this end cap off. And this is the crank handle end, and this is the tension end. And I'm going to crack this open and pull some of this plastic off. So I got some hardware here. Uh, I really should have a knife or something for this. So I've only had one slider in my time and that is, oh they must just have put this here to keep the carriage from moving. Good idea. Um, I've had one slider in my experience and it was a very cheap slider I got off of uh, b and Photo and they usually have very good products. I love b and Photo but I tried out a very cheap slider. It was basically just one of those aluminum pieces with the little plastic things that go on the rails that doesn't really do much. We got the, the tension lock. So the carriage has resistance 
so you can create nice slow pans that are very precise and then you can loosen it up a lot and the carriage will move real fast and I gotta say this thing is nice um, this is the adapter for 3 8 I believe 3 8 um, for tripod heads and stuff this thing is solid. I also got the measuring tape on here and it looks clean and it's not going to get in the way. I'm really glad I got it. It's what, 13 bucks to have it and then you can do precise things. Some people probably think you don't need it. and You, you may not. I'm not sure. Um, you can see down here you've got the threads for tripods. 20 inch 3 3 eighths or quarter 20 I mean and this is genius right here this thing right here so it's not slick and your quick release plates don't move on it because the side I have right now actually I had to put some weird tape down here just to keep it from moving around um, and then these are smart to make it so it do can't spin as well but I didn't get any outrigger feet or anything because um, I can buy those separately if I def decide that I need them and I probably will but I really wanted to get my hands on this first because this is my first Kessler product but so far I am impressed on this end you have the crank and you can loosen this and extend or contract this arm and this pulley system um, you know, when I see it on online and stuff, it's got this play in it, and a lot more than I would think, but so far it's pretty flawless the way they've designed it. The biggest reason that I got this slider is because of the guard system. Um, I, I was going to get this stealth slider because it was cheaper, first of all. Um, it would have been about $400 cheaper at the time I bought it, and it was also three foot and it also could take systems uh, motion control systems but here is the reason I bought it because oh, it's going to be really hard to show you but this part right here is a guard rail for the part that actually make contact which I think are wheels little steel wheels in there aluminum or metal I don't know if you can see it very well in here the wheels but basically it protects and it would be super difficult to get in there um, and damage it in unintentionally and another reason I got this slider is all the adjustability the one I have has tons of play in it and it's a piece of trash and you can't adjust it you can just buy the new little plastic sleeves but this you can adjust there's little they use an allen wrench here i'm not going to adjust it because it's set really well they shipped it ready to use and good because then you don't have to you know fix anything but then you can adjust this and adjust the play so if it ever does get loose you can just fix it and it'll stay tight and you can just adjust it over time can't imagine you having to adjust it very much so I got this so I can put my tripod head on it. And today, I gotta be honest, I forgot my tripod head that I'm gonna throw on here. Um, it's on my other slider still. But I will get that so I can show you what that looks like. The other major, major reason I got this thing is for the weight capacity. The guardrails and the weight capacity. If you have it on, well, two tripods or support on both ends, you can put up to 80 pounds of weight on here, 80 pounds of camera equipment. That is crazy to me. I am an indie filmmaker or an independent production company, and I rarely am going to rent gear, and I can't imagine getting an 80 pound rig. Honestly, if you, you know, especially today with digital cinema cameras like Reds and Alexas, and things of that nature, I can't imagine them weighing that that much, even with accessories on them. So this thing can handle a lot, and that's awesome. Another thing that intrigues me is the ability to be able to put this on your tripod and tilt it this way, and actually be able to slide it without it wanting to tip over, because the other one would probably break or 
it would have so much play in it that it's not going to move. It's just going to jam up. So this is awesome. Put a nice heavy rig on here and you can have the option to do that. And also vertical shots. I'm looking forward to being able to do vertical. So guys, here's a close up of the crank and it's nice heavy duty materials. I mean, I really like how Kessler puts real metal everywhere and it's nicely machined. You can extend, or extend it, it'll move slower. If you put it cl close and in like this, this is really, really petty stuff, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it even. Where is it? Well, on the ruler here, probably won't be able to see this. But on the ruler here, there's a couple, of there's a nick here, and I thought I saw another nick earlier. I mean, that's super petty, and I honestly don't think I'm going to care. I mean, everything's still visible. It's a little nick. Big deal. I am very eager to test this beast out, and I plan on doing it right now. Here are some slider shots that I came up with. I'm really interested in seeing what this thing can do with different capabilities. Like I'm going to test out the different techniques of using a slider. Putting the camera on here and using the carriage with my hand and sliding it real nice. And you know, adding some tension and having a really precise movements. Really I think this has the most feel in it and I'm going to do this the most. And then also, I'm going to experiment with using the pulley and the crank. So I really want to try that out. But honestly, this doesn't feel quite as fluid to me. The reason I think it doesn't work very well is because most people aren't going to stand at the end of the slider, like over the end of it perfectly like this, and go around perfectly. They're going to stand off to the side. And I'm going to like pulse like this and it's going to go at different speeds. So I got my camera on my slider here and I got my tripod and light stand over here. And so this is what the slider is initially like. Camera is quite smooth and I think this shot is pretty fun. So I just wanted to show you how smooth it can get and the slider on camera. So this is the tension lock. I, if I loosen it up, you know, this thing is super has no resistance, no tension, keeping it from sliding. So I can toss in my finger and it goes halfway. You know, I can toss it real easy. You know, and it's real smooth. That's for faster, faster stuff. And then I can do resistance, add tension to it. And you know, it, it takes a lot of strength to push it. And you get some really nice precise shots doing this. You know, you can get your slow dolly moves that really can can add production value. If you look here at the crank, you got the crank, and I got this with a little bit of tension, not a lot, and you know, kind of slide it. It's pretty Good, but I still think there's a little bit of a pulse in there due to one, the gears, and two, the way I'm spinning it up, not straight on. You can kind of see that jerkiness. I hope it doesn't show up on the camera, but I think it will. Here's another thing that I'm a little curious about. I loosen this up so it can move fast. If I move it fast, this crank here will spin and that's a lot of weight spinning off of axis so it's going to vibrate and it vibrates this whole stand and I think you can see it on the camera I can't tell because you know my eyes I'll be able to tell on the computer and so will you but for those really fast shots this crank is going to be a problem and really you know, if I'm trying to do slow motion, this camera does 240 frames a second. You know, if I'm trying to do slow motion and follow something, you know, it might show up. But I mean, how many how many times are you gonna you gonna shoot stuff that fast on a slider only going three feet? I mean, you can, but I don't really know what's gonna do it. 